In this video, we are going to create a couple of calculations. Firstly, to work out the total cost of our lesson. And secondly, to work out the total cost of our lesson types with the amount of lessons that the student is taking. So the first thing we're going to do is we go to Design View. We can then open up a text box just over here. We then need to multiply the length of the lesson by the cost of the lesson. So we can type in equals a normal bracket, then a square bracket, then we type in the length of lesson which comes from here. We then multiply this by the cost which comes from here. We then close our normal bracket. We should also put in a meaning meaningful text in this section here. So we can call this total. And now if we go back to our normal view, we can see we now have a total. However, we can also see that it's not in the format of currency, so we can change this. We can right click again onto this table student, go to design view, select the text box from here, then we can go across to format on the right hand side. We can click on this drop down arrow, select currency, and then if we go back to normal view, it should now be in the format of currency. So now if we change this to free lessons, it should automatically update to 60, as we can see. What we're going to do now is we're going to enter in another formula, which will give us the total of our lessons. So we should have a total of 85 pounds for these two lessons. What I've done is I've just entered in another set of details. So I've added in another instructor and free set of lessons, so which totals up to £60 altogether. So the first thing we need to do is switch to Design View. We need to access the footer of this form. I've already entered in the formula. So what this formula does is it works out the sum of length of lessons times cost and we've also given this text box a meaningful name we've called it overall total now currently this formula sits in the footer of the form so it won't be displayed when you switch it to open view so what we need to do is we need to bring this out and we need to display it in our main form here so what we do is we type in another formula here which we call booking dot form overall total. So what this will do is this will give us the overall total displayed from the booking form. We've also renamed this form, this sub form. If I click on it, you can see it's been renamed booking. So when we switch to normal view we can see that £85 is now displayed in this section here. We also need to ensure that when we click on this, the format is displayed as currency in order for the pound symbol to appear. Once you've done this, if you save your progress, 